Hi, my name is Laura Lynn and I'm from the Braiding Lounge Academy and I'm about to show you how to do a micro braid. What you'll see me do right now is attaching the extension hair to the client's own hair. We've split the client's hair into one side of the extension braid to form a secure base. I braided twice onto the base and then we continue the free strand braid all the way down to the end of the hair. Now these are called micro braids because of the size of them. You literally take only a few strands of the client's hair in each section, add in a few strands of extension hair, whether it be human or synthetic, braiding it all the way down to the end or to the desired length before either tying it off or sealing it with hot water. So I'm just continuing to braid all the way down to the end of the hair. You can see how the uh, micro braids sit on the hair. I'll show you one more. You can see the size of the parting I'm using. The amount of hair that I've used is roughly the same size of the amount of hair I've taken from the client's own hair. Split the hair into the extension to begin your braid. Plait twice against the base. This will secure your braid, allowing you to plait without it splitting. And then we begin to braid down the hair shaft. As you can see, the base is extremely secure. It's not slipping anywhere, very neat. And you continue the free strand braid technique all the way down to the end of the hair. Okay, so I've just installed a few micro braids into the client's hair. Um, the way you lock in the micro braid is very important. That can determine as to whether you can do micro braids on European hair and Afro hair. Um, what I normally do is I split one side of the hair into the extension hair. That then locks it in permanently and I'm able to braid all the way down to the end without the beginning slipping out, which can often happen. Okay, um, to ensure that the base stays secure, I usually braid three times onto the base before I start pulling away from the head. Um, this doesn't mean that I pull very tight, all it means is that it's a secure knot and it doesn't hurt at all. Okay, and that's how you do a micro braid.